This is our Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini Reassembly Guide, brought to you by Repairs Universe. To begin, we're going to begin by placing some of the small components back into the front housing, starting with the headphone jack in the top right corner, the vibrate motor on the left side. We're just using the adhesive left over to place these back in. Next will be the SIM card and micro SD card, and then inserting the flex cable for the jaw connector. We're going to make sure the jaw flap is up, place the flex cable inside, and then lower the flex the jaw for the flex cable back in. On the bottom side, we're going to have the dock port flex cable. It's going to line it up, make sure it's fully pressed down. From here, we're now ready to install the motherboard. Be sure that you make a great connection on this screen assembly to the back of the motherboard here. It's just a simple pop connector, but this is a suggested way of making sure it clicks in correctly. Once you're sure it popped in correctly, we're just going to fold it back over, keeping in mind that we need to move all flex cables to the side. And then from here, we can begin pressing in all the flex cables and just making sure that that motherboard fits in snugly into the housing. So starting at the top here, we're going to have the headphone jack pop connector. On the bottom here, we'll have three connections. A little antenna connection here. Then the dock port flex. Once those are fully secured, we can now move up and begin placing some of the upper components, including the front camera which will be shown here. Or we just put it in its socket and then press the flex cable firmly down. And also the ear speaker flex cable here. And also attaching that one to the motherboard. And just making sure that that sensor fits in that hole snugly. Once those two components are in, we can now place over this metal cover. Starting with the top here. And just fitting it over the two components. And we are now ready to install the back housing. So just going to press it firmly on top of the motherboard here. Just making sure it snaps right into place. Once we're sure it's secured down properly, we're going to use all 10 of the small Phillips screws to secure down that housing. Now just a final few screws on the bottom here. And there we go. At this point we're now just going to install our battery and our back cover and we are now ready to test the device and there we go there is a full reassembly guide for the Galaxy S4 Mini if you found this video useful please be sure to like our video also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter and for more useful guides, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.